Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I am today doing the speed build for my Comrade family house. Um, yeah, I wanted it to be sort of a bit different um, with obviously half of the family being alien. I wanted it to be sort of with reference to the alien thing. Um, so basically I end up putting a couple of fountains in at the front um, in sort of I was going for the you know the crop circle things um, well I was trying to go with something like that for the pools so um, and I thought it was a bit sort of futuristic -y to do the pools in that way and um, I gave this house flat roofs as well because um, I just thought it was sort of more modern and contemporary um, I do actually change the part in the middle um, and I decide to add some greenery um, to make it a bit sort of like eco type um, but you'll see that in a few minutes um, yeah so here we are with the pools um, the fountains I should say rather uh, do you understand what I mean about the like crop circles I know the the squares but I was going for that sort of effect um, like it was um, an alien message from above or, or something <laughs> yeah so I'm just adding windows to the house um, now I wanted to keep it sort of modern but with like a, a bit of a traditional feel so I decided to use the dark wood um, I also decided to put a, a pool in at the back as well with a deck. Um, yeah, so just adding a door there, adding a rail. Um, I added some windows up here, um, but if I remember correctly, I do end up uh, moving them once I start furnishing the interior. Um, so yeah, just doing the outside sort of trims. Um, it's basically um, sort of a ground floor, an upper floor, and a basement. And the um, the parents' room is in the upper floor, and then we've got the living area in the lower floor. And the um, basement is the children. Well, I say children, the um, the young adults section of the house. Um, so yeah. Um, just adding the uh, the stair rails there now, uh, down into the basement, and just adjusting the stairs. Um, yeah, so I decided to film the speed build for the house. Um, I just thought it'd be interesting for you to sort of see what I came up with. Um, just adding some doors there now. It is a quite a big house, really, um, but I, I wanted it to be sort of quite spacious. Because um, you know me, I don't really do small builds. Um, I have tried to do a starter home uh, for under sort of 20 simoleons and it never ends well. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm just figuring out what I'm going to do with the rooms. Um, I decided to put these new lights in uh, that came with the expansion pack. They did give off quite a lot of light. Um, so that's good um, so just working on the kitchen at the moment so I decided to go with sort of black and grey with like um, a red accent as you will see once I start putting the, uh, the furnishings in so yeah it is quite a big kitchen with a big kitchen island and a breakfast bar um, but if you've watched any of my other videos you know that's kind of my signature um, I do like big kitchens um, so yeah, I just thought that um, Anna, um, the mum, should have a decent area to hone her baking skills, seeing as we're going to be opening um, her bakery. Um, I have done a speed build for that as well, um, which I am hoping to upload not long after this video has come out. Um, so just add in the usual kitchen clutter. As I said, um, I've added some of the red accents that I was talking about. Um, yeah, box of tissues and um, that plant or flowers um, again is a new one from the expansion pack. Um, just adding a tea set there and a mug rack and a tea machine and a fruit bowl. So 
yeah, um, I'm excited to play this Let's Play. Um, I've got the um, the family. They're all going to be getting into the uh, Get to Work um, expansion pack and um, hopefully doing well in their new careers. Um, so just working on the living. And uh, yeah, I decided to go with um, this custom piece from The Sims Resource. Again, I wanted to carry on that uh, red accent throughout the build, um, but ke again, keep it quite modern. Those plants are, are new on either side of the TV. Again, they came with the expansion pack. So, just adding some magazines and a rug. Um, if you know me as well, I am really fond of that black rug. I use it everywhere. <laughs> but like I said, you can't really go wrong with black, to be fair. Um, so I de decide to add like a study area here um, with the desk and the computer and everything. Again, I use the desk with the red accent just to keep it uh, consistent and just sort of adding a few touches to make the room look homely and add those wall units as well which... Um, are from the Sims resource again, custom content. Um, and that chair is seems to be new again with the expansion pack. I am trying to use as many new features as I, as I can, um, and I do really like those tripod lighting. Um, I know that's not new, but uh, yeah, I do really like the the modern theme. Um, so yeah, just working on the family bathroom at the moment. Uh, decide to go with this sort of um, burnt orange colour um, and a sort of light floor. Um, again, my bathroom is custom content. Um, I do seem to use this uh, shower and toilet quite a lot and the sink in fact. Um, but I decided to add the tub because um, I thought it sort of went, it matched the, uh, the colour features that I've done. And yeah, I added some mirrors in there as well, just to open the room out. So this is like the entrance foyer. So I'm just deciding um, what to put in here. As I notice, it's kind of dark, really. I think with it being such a big room. Um, yeah, so just adding some uh, shoe racks and a coat rack there. And I decide, yeah, to put a bigger rug in. Again, the black rug. What a surprise. Um, and I just added in those pictures that I absolutely love. Again, custom content. Do you think that I am like a custom content addict? I think I possibly might be. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm not so keen on um, the furnishings that come with the expansion pack. Um, and I do like to individualise my builds. Um, I guess some people are the same as well as me. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm just working on the... Um, this is going to be like a workroom. So, I'm going to have um, a few things like a chess table for logic. Um, and I've also put like an industrial desk uh, that came with the expansion pack in as well and the computer and I've got the chemical analyzer machine in there for um, our dad who's going to be um, a detective and I just added some sort of um, techie pictures over there in the corner um, just to give reference to the back to, uh, get to work theme so yeah now I'm working on the outside decking, um, just choosing the best floor texture, and now I'm adding the pool. Um, I had thought whether I should give them a pool, but I think they deserve it. I mean, who doesn't like a pool, right? <laughs> so again, I'm going with the red accent um, to match the rest of the house, and the red barbecue in case they get hungry and I just put a couple of towel racks that I got again <laughs> custom content notice a pattern here 
Um, yeah. So now I'm working on the parents' bedroom, um, which is uh, Ether and Anna. Um, in case you had forgotten. <laughs> yeah, so we've got Ethan and Anna, and they're the parents. Um, they fell in love when Anna's spaceship crash-landed in Ethan's back garden when he was much younger. And um, they have been happily together for quite some time now. Um, they have two um, grown-up children who are young adults. And I'm going to be getting all of them um, in the get-to-work um various career tracks um we've got ethan who's going to be the detective and anna who is going to be opening her own bakery um like i said i have done a speed build for that so i'm going to be uploading that hopefully not long after i've uploaded this video and then we've got uh lucy who is our fashionista she's going to be opening a um clothing store um and then we've got um sorry yeah we've got casey um who's going to be uh doing the scientist career yeah so lots to come with that um so yeah i'm just finishing off the bathroom here um, which is the parents' bathroom, and I decide, like I said, to um, put like a little eco area in uh, with lots of greenery and trees and plants. But you'll see that in a few minutes. Um, just doing work on the hallway at the moment, putting some lighting in, making it look a bit more grand. Um, adding my pictures and um, just a couple of accent tables with pictures, more pictures of course and a, a sofa there again custom content <laughs> so yeah just adding some more pictures to the wall uh, I wanted it to be quite bright so yeah so I'm just deciding on the um, the surface for my eco area on top of the house there's the trees going in now and again like I said I'm just adding some plants and flowers um, and adding I love that that sort of purple hedge thingy <laughs> I just think it's really pretty uh, and I added a few rocks in as well so yeah just working on the uh, basement now which is going to be for the uh, the young people um, so I want the middle part here to be like a communal area that I've got I'm gonna have a TV in there and a couch and everything so it's sort of a bit like a living area that they can both use um, but they both have got quite a big bedroom each um, Casey and Lucy so this is Casey's room at the moment Casey Casey's gonna be our scientist um, so he's pretty geeky um, he loves anything to do with science and technology um, so I decided to incorporate that into the um, the design of the room. Um, yeah, he's he's a bit of a, a science nerd to be fair. Um, so just adding some um, wall clothes um, decorations there, and that mirror is a new um, feature with the uh, Get to Work expansion pack, which I really like. I like the uh, sort of swirly bits on it um i think that looks kind of techy so it fits with the the theme of the room um again putting a bathroom in for um casey and i wanted to keep it sort of quite dark um with it being a guy i wanted it quite sort of masculine and um i end up putting some um sort of sciencey stuff in again to uh sort of keeping with Casey's character so yeah now I'm just working on Lucy's room and Lucy is our fashionista so I wanted it to be sort of high-end uh, modern um, stylish and um, so I went with the red stripe here and the sort of red and black furnishings um, so yeah I wanted hers to be sort of quite contemporary and I love those little hearts, the wooden hearts. Um, 
I think they're from the um, Outdoor Retreat expansion pack that I installed recently. Um, but I just thought they really fit with the room um, because she's a young adult. Um, so yeah, it might be something that a young adult has in a, well, a young adult girl has in a room. Um, again, that couch is custom content, and yeah, just adding a rug and um, some of the new posters that are available um, for the uh, Get to Work expansion pack. I thought they fitted in nicely with the, the whole fashionista thing. Um, just adding the birds there, <laughs> which are custom content on the bird cage. Um, yeah, so now I'm just working on uh, the bathroom for Lucy. Um, again, I wanted to keep it red and black and white, um, and I really like that that black shower there um, with the shower curtain round. I just think it's kind of um, fashionable and a bit trendy but it's also kind of romantic as well um, because if you watch my introduction video Lucy is a romantic and she does want to find a boyfriend and be very happy with her business so yeah just adding some uh, clutter there us females can never have too much clutter and um, I added that sort of frame with the light bulbs on which again is um, a new feature from the expansion pack um, so yeah just trying to figure out what I'm putting in the communal area like I said I put a TV in here and a couch again keeping with the red theme um, the couch and the coffee table are custom content of course <laughs> Um, if you want to know how to download custom content, um, please see my video. Um, I do show where I source uh, my items and how I go about downloading it. If you want to become a cost custom content fiend like myself. Um, so yeah, just adding some pictures in there. Again, keep it with the red theme. And I decided to add those sort of musically... Uh, posters in there as well because I want to keep it quite sort of young because they are young adults um, just adding more pictures and uh, a bookcase there and a, a side table with a, a sort of plant stroke light hybrid that I believe is with the new expansion pack um, so basically that is the house done um, I'm just going to do the landscaping now um, yeah, I really like the pools. Um, I keep calling them pools. I mean the fountains. Um, like I said, I just think they're a bit different and I um, hope you like them too. Just adding some plants to the outside. Uh, I just put a path in as you can see and some rocks. I wanted to sort of drag the eco theme that's going on on top of the house outside as well. Um, and I wanted it quite minimalist. I didn't want too much greenery and everything. Um, so, yeah, it is quite modern and uh, simplistic. So, just adding some outdoor lights now. And I decided to add um, some more greenery at the back of the house by the pool here. Um, again, trying to keep it fairly straightforward, not, not putting too much in. Um, I can always add add more if I decide once I start playing. Um, but yeah, um, I hope you watch my Let's Play and I will see you in my next video. Please like this channel and subscribe. Sorry, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I've inserted some screenshots here as well. So um, I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.